Hey, it's Julie. I'm actually on my flight, but I didn't want you to worry anymore. So I wanted to make this video for you responding to my list of um, responses to Mike Whelan's lovely blog post, which is linked below, about uh, being a solo and solo balance. And um, let's just get right to it. So my comments are... Um, talking about a true solo practice, I think starting out, you really are very solo, and it really is a true solo practice. Um, for me, it was anyway. I didn't actually intend to be a solo. I was planning on joining another small firm, and after I took the bar exam, I wanted to hit the ground running, and I was told by the managing partner of the firm that he didn't need me anymore, so I figured... Um, I have to figure out what I'm going to do myself, so that's when I decided to become solo. It wasn't really a plan, so I kind of just did what I had to do, and I didn't really think about whether or not I was uh, a true solo or what that meant to me. Um, now, I definitely have a lot more people around me. Um, I am in bar associations for solos specifically, and... I do agree that when you think you're solo, you really probably aren't completely solo, but as far as doing the legal work, there is a solo mindset there for sure. And I wanted to touch upon, um, looking at my iPad, um, you do mention somewhere in your article that I, um, I do a lot of CEO type stuff. Um, as well as the actual legal work too. And I like that you mentioned the CEO mindset. I think a lot of people, um, including myself, forget that there is such thing as a CEO mindset um, versus just a business owner mindset uh, or a lawyer mindset. And definitely I do enjoy a lot of the CEO stuff too. So I think that's something that does keep me passionate about what I do. Um, so I do appreciate the distinction in the article there with um, doing CEO stuff um, and running the business and um, being a lawyer all at the same time and with my million different hats that I wear. Um, again, looking at my notes. Um, regarding if I'm happy, I'm totally happy. I say, and I, I feel like I'm very lucky to be able to say this, but um, I love what I do even when I hate it. And even when I want to pull my eyes out and when I'm crying. So for me, it's always just I do what I love and I love what I do and I'm really lucky and I'm surrounded by people that I love working with. Um, and, and so it makes me happy even when I hate it and even when I'm miserable. Um, at the end of the day, I was, I, I'm happy, I think, so far. So far, so good. Um, and maybe we can catch up later and see, uh, see how that goes. But I think it's pretty good for now. Um, what else is on my list? Uh, a balance. You know, even though I'm happy, I'm constantly looking for balance anyway. It doesn't mean that I think everything is fine or done or balanced. Um, there's always more balance to be had and more improvement to be done. So even though I'm happy, I don't by any means think it's the end of the road or that there's nothing left to do to improve or to move forward. I think that there's always opportunities to move forward. Um, and to keep looking for balance, you know, wherever I can. I don't know if there's a secret sauce to that, and I do think it is very individualized, and it just depends on what you want out of life and what you're looking for. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I don't um, have kids. Uh, I don't have any other responsibilities really other than myself. So for me, in theory, it should be uh, a simpler balance because I just have to take care of myself. But... Um, taking care of, I'm a handful <laughs> for myself, so taking care of myself is kind of hard sometimes. Um, but we all look for balance, you know? I think that, that if you stop looking for balance, balance, you kind of are kidding yourself. I think there's always some kind of a, a balance or a better balance to be had. And let's see, what else do I have on my notes? Oh, so there is a part of your blog article where, your blog post, excuse me, um, where you Oh, here it is. Although we wear the solo, although we wear the solo life like a badge of honor, many of us are not actually solo. We shouldn't be. In fact, the gloomiest attorneys tend to be the most isolated. So I have a problem with um, making the jump from solo to 
being gloomy and isolated. I don't think um, all solos are isolated, um, and I don't think all solos are gloomy, and I actually know a lot of non-solos that are gloomy and isolated, and I think it's just a matter of who you are, and every situation is different. And I don't think that that's kind of, I think that's an unfair leap, to be honest. Um, I know a lot of gloomy attorneys, and uh, most of them are not solo. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Video bomb. I was like, I seen her doing it. I got. Oh, I that's got okay. It. You'll Keep be vlogging. you'll be on Twitter soon enough. Keep yeah. Vlogging? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Let's see what else is on my. Put Lottie down. <laughs> um. So yeah, I guess on that lovely note, um, that is the end of my feedback for now. I do appreciate you taking the time to write some feedback about my interview with Sam Glover. I think that's awesome. Um, you know, I'm just here to, uh, to do my thing and help people along the process. And um, if you want to continue the discussion, I would love to. And I hope this, I hope you'll sleep better tonight knowing that I'm happy and you don't have to keep questioning it. Bye. Please.